Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. Lighting will really help define the quality of your rendering. So I'm going to click on a little video and I'm going to let this play. As we go through, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the lighting steps. Number one is it's rendering. I want you to notice the shadow lines here. I want you to see that we do have lights coming in from the lighting fixtures above, right? You'll see the shadows. And to me, shadows and light is so, so important because they add depth. Now, the first thing that I do, I always add, or I try to add sunlight. Now, watch as I move the image around on the screen how it's applying sunlight and actually shadowing based on the window frame, any accessories, accoutrements that are in the room. It's actually shadowing based on those. I like to use sunlight because when sunlight touches a photorealistic texture, like our Carrera countertop here, it will make the image pop. It really, really makes it photorealistic. Now, I also like to drag my own lights over. And if you look, I went to the Room Furniture Catalog Lighting. I'm placing a recessed light, and I'm going to place it right above the island. Now, one of my tricks to this is, is I like to take a recessed light, and I will lower the light to just above an object, let's say 54 inches in this case. And then I will go through to its attributes, and I will make the light invisible. I can make the light invisible by going to Variables. I'll scroll down and click on Properties. And where it says Make 3D, I'll say No. Now the light is gone. The light has disappeared. But I will have a 54-inch invisible light source just above this book. So I can create a lighting effect but not see the light itself. I can also go into the light's property by right-clicking on it and going to Properties. I can change the color. I can change how bright it is. But more importantly, I can change the profile of the light. I can go in and pick any type of light diffusion pattern. Right now, you're looking at a defined light. I can go down and pick, let's say, a tight focused light. Or maybe I go back and pick something like Bollard. I really like the diffusion patterns of some of the images like Bollard. It almost creates like a ringed pattern around the light. One of the best ways actually to show lights is to dim the lights that are in the background. So you can go back in the lighting, go over to Scene, and where it says Ambient Light, I can scroll that all the way to the left, which will turn down all the lights in the room. Or I did it just maybe to a quarter point, and you'll notice that it's now shadowed where the light is. Watch when I let it re-render. Take a look at that. Look at the extra light that I applied. If you think about it, that light is actually floating right here, but you can't see it. Please join the 2020 community at www.2020spaces.com forward slash community.